No arrests have been made yet in connection to this week's pipeline vandalism in Mahaska County. The Dakota Access site at the 2300 block of Queens Avenue holds one of many emergency shutoff valves. The valve can be actually seen above ground. Mahaska County Sheriff Russell Van Redegram said it appears the suspect crawled under a fence and used a blowtorch to melt a hole through the check valve. The pipe was not pumping oil at the time. However, it was being pressurized with nitrogen gas. Deputies have been in contact with state and federal investigators who estimate the cost of damage to reach six figures. Sheriff Van Rennegram told KTVO just last fall a group of protesters were at the same site. Two individuals were arrested out there as a result of the protest and charged with trespassing. Um, no damage was done by the protesters. Um, and at this point, we have no reason to believe that those, you know, the protest and this damage is linked. You might also remember last year's arson in Mahaska County, where at least a million dollars worth of construction equipment was torched. The Mahaska County Sheriff doesn't believe that, that case was connected to what happened this month either. If found, the suspect could be facing a first-degree criminal mischief charge, which comes with a prison term of up to 10 years.